morning. morning. There's dancing and singing in the kitchen this morning. I said think, think, think. Oh. I don't know why he's dancing and singing that song, but he is. So um, you obviously have a lot of energy today. I have so much energy today. It is absolutely unbelievable. Which is bizarre considering it's the morning after a fasting day. Yeah, yeah. And, and, what was, and we were just discussing coming home from the gym today. When the last time we had any animal products. Minus a little bit. It's full disclosure. <laughs> I like to have popcorn watching football, and I do put maybe about a tablespoon, a tablespoon of butter, like four on a, cups of yeah, popcorn. Yeah, on a huge, huge bath of, of popcorn. So, so uh, um, yeah, he has a little bit of butter, but it's been a long time since you've had any, other than that, animal products. Yeah. yeah. And I was thinking about meat, like how long has it been since I had, uh, I had actual meat, and it's been, I don't know, a month and a half. Oh, he's worried about the sound when he turns on the, uh, on the, I'll just, I'll just make sure it, it doesn't uh, pixelate. Good I'll morning, Kristen. It's good to see you. Morning, Kristen. Um, Kristen, sorry. So how was your workout? Uh, my workout was good. Yeah? Yeah, it was actually quite awesome. Um, I did shoulders. Okay. 15 sets of shoulder presses. Why? So what I do is I do behind the head shoulder presses and I do in front of my in front of the head shoulder presses. Okay. The and are those slightly. bad for your shoulder or behind just the shoulder head, arms? Behind the head are not great and I'm paying attention to how my shoulders are feeling and so far they're okay. Um, but if they start bothering me, I will stop doing those. They're just a great angle for building shoulders. And that, you know, I hear that more and more from people that, um, yeah. yeah. Oh, she puts pop. Uh, Coconut oil on her popcorn. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that's better for you than butter. I'm saying they're in the same category. Either way, it's still yeah. not super it's fantastic. Still oil. But yeah. again, if I put one tablespoon of, of butter in my popcorn once a week, I don't even know what's that all. Let's just say once a week, and we're talking about a, a thing this big full of popcorn. You're not worried about I'm it? I'm not going to worry about that because right. that is the only animal product I've had in probably a month and a half. All right, so go back to talking about your workout. All right, so, so, I do, um, so, I, so I do, I don't know, figure split it in half. Say seven to one and eight of the other sets of those, right? Um, I did my side laterals. I did my behind, you know, the bent over laterals, mm -hmm. upright rows. So that was a fantastic shoulder workout. Good. Uh, then I did um, triceps, and I did my standard triceps. Uh, I'm going to say, I don't know, total probably about 18 sets for triceps. How many different exercises? Uh, let me count them. Let me see. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Okay. Six different exercises. Okay. Uh, and then I did abs. Yes, I know you did abs. Um, and blew through that pretty quickly. That was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was a good workout. It's yeah. funny because you do what you, some of the exercises you do for shoulder, I do with my back workout. Right. So. Well, there are a few exercises that are kind of crossovers. Like how you do your rear delts for your... Um, and rear delts are this muscle back here. Right. Which to me is part of your back, but I guess it is part of your shoulder Well, it is too. called rear delt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, so I, I, I do them with shoulders, obviously. Um, so, yeah. I'm, and I, I, did a, I did back today, and I did my rear delts today. Right. So, yeah, so that was good. Um, what do you have for breakfast? I am having oatmeal. Shocking. And, of course, my oatmeal, we have Aimla. We have, um, I'm going to use my hands. <laughs> have, You're Italian. You I know. Can't I can't help it. it. <laughs> uh, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, sunflower seeds, spirulina. Are you going to have uh, turmeric in? Cinnamon? I have turmeric in my water, my hot oh, water. Okay. Are so, you having cinnamon in here? Yeah, I won't put cinnamon in there. Yes. So, um, there's some argument about cinnamon. It, it does. It is supposed to be good for your blood sugar. But then there's another study that. Good morning, David. Morning, There's another uh, study that says that the reason that it lowers, lowers your bl blood sugar is because it's hard on your on your liver, and it. So, it's interesting how cinnamon. So, if you like cinnamon for flavor, eat it for that reason. But I wouldn't say eat it for the health reasons of it because it may or may not be as beneficial as right. they think it is. And the other thing to consider too is so there are two types of ground cinnamon. Mm -hmm. The uh, sagin, which we have, sagon, sagin. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Um, is the most common. It's right. the one you'll find everywhere, and it's the one that's not as good for you as the other one. If you can, if good for you is actually good for you, which, right. like I said, we're, they're not actually sure about that. Right. Um, I'm also having oatmeal. I'm having my steel-cut oats, which I forgot to put on to soak last night, 
So before we left for the gym this morning, I threw it on. I figured, yeah, it'll be good enough. And it is. It's been soaking now for about two hours, and it looks like it's going to be fine to eat. So I'm excited about that, that if I forget overnight, I can yes. do it. He came in this morning and said, I forgot to do my oatmeal. And it's funny because on fasting days, I forget to start my oatmeal for the next day. Yeah. On regular days, I don't have a problem remembering, but on fasting days, I do forget. Right. Yeah. So how was your fasting day yesterday? Not event. Yeah. You know? Um, it helps that I was busy at work. Yeah. You, you have know? a lot going on. I got right a few now. websites I'm working on, a few, a few um, marketing programs for clients I'm working on, getting newsletters out for clients, getting, you know, um, social media out for clients. So, you know, it keeps me busy and that helps. Yeah, it helps. If you, you have know? stuff going on, you forget right. to be hungry. Exactly. So I, wanted, I have a few books here that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, some of them I've shown you before, but now that I've gotten into reading them, I want to be able to give you some more information on it. Um, the first one is uh, The Rice Diet Solution. This is not a whole food plant-based book. They do talk about um, fish in this book. It also is a very hardcore weight loss um, book. Mm -hmm. It's about people, it, they write about people that do lose 100, 200, 250 pounds. And so... For me, I really have to kind of get through all of the eat this and do this and the diet piece of it to find the information stuff that I'm interested in. So it's a little bit of a tough read for me because it's not as interesting for me as some other books that I read, um, but it does have some useful information. And the one thing I don't like about this book is I just looked at the cover. What don't you like about That's how it says lose 20 pounds in one month. Because yeah. that screams, you know, quick fix diet solution which we all know doesn't work. Right. So, and it had their, their diet that they suggest in this book has three stages. It has the really hardcore lose lots and lots of weight at um, real quickly. Then it has kind of the level off and then it has what they call maintenance. So um, again, not whole food plant-based, but very interesting in what they talk about. And I do like some of the, the science that's in it. So mm -hmm. that's good. And they do talk, good morning, Bridge, good to see you. Morning, Bridget. They do talk a lot about the psychology of mm -hmm. losing weight, which is obviously interesting to me because that's something I do help clients with is understanding why they make the choices they make, why they feel like making different choices is impossible, and how to change that. So that piece of it is in here. And they talk about um, meditation and yoga. Right. Now let me clarify. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean the book's not good. Right. Just I just don't like, like the, it's like almost the advertisement of it. Right. Um, because she's read some of the stuff to me and it's very good information. So th this book, um, again, interesting, but definitely a hardcore diet book and not whole food plant based. Right. Good job on your workout today, Bridge. Love a killer oh, leg awesome. workout. Awesome. You, won't, you won't be able to walk upstairs tomorrow. Nah, <laughs> there's always a next day. Um, and then the next, the other one I'm currently reading, come on. Turn it this way, that way. Keep going. It's really shiny. There you go. Yeah. Start solution. We've talked to you about some of the lectures that are on um, YouTube by this guy. He's uh, Dr. John McDougall. I like this book a lot. Mm. It's got a lot of really great information. It talks about how the Paleolithic diet is actually more based on tubers than it is based on meat, even yeah. though what we call paleo eating is a meat-based uh, diet. Yeah. So I'm only about... Uh, two chapters into this one, but so far I'm really enjoying this one, getting a lot, a lot out of it. And I like Dr. McDougall's approach. He's hardcore. I mean, he's, he's rough, he's around, rough the around the edges. <laughs> is what I'd say. Not hardcore. I don't know how it is reading this book, but if you hear him speak, he's kind of like this is the way it is. You don't like it tough. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not attitude. Not easy but, going, but but he's got great information. He, he's done great research, and he and he uh, you know references a lot of other great research. So and I, yeah, I really, his books are well. Um, Referenced, they have yeah. a lot, a lot of references in them, so you can go and read the science. So I'm really enjoying this book. If you're, if and I'm obviously taking notes, so the notes will be on the website. On the website, when it comes which is up. coming along. We're moving along on that. There we go. So this, this is a good book. It's easy to read. Um, if you're, if you're into reading, do that. Um, that one's a good one. What are you saying, Indeed, Bridge? Ardano and his. Eat right I haven't read anything about that. I've no. heard about it. I have a friend of mine who swears up and down that I should not be plant-based because I have O positive blood and she's very concerned about it. Um, I haven't had an issue with it. I haven't looked into that one at all yet. Is that is he dealing with um, O positive blood? He talks about blood type and eating for your blood type. Ah. Yeah. So um, the next book I have here, this is the, the China Study Cookbook. Um, I picked it up because I like to look at different recipes and see kind of you know, what, what's going on with them. 
if you're bored with eating whole food plant-based, I think that this is a good cookbook. It's got a lot of different things in it that I've seen other places. There's a lot of different um, ethnic spices and stuff. Um, for me, the issue with this particular cookbook is most of what I ask for isn't stuff I have in the house. It would have to be stuff I'd have to go out and get. Right. And I only marked two recipes in it. You can see the little tabs at the top. Oh. And they're both bean soup. So um, this one is not one that I I got it from the library, and I'm going to bring it back, and I, I don't. Yeah. We may scan in those two pages first, though. Um, or I'll just write them down or okay. something. Or I may decide they're not that interesting. But right. So this book I'm not as impressed with as some of the other books that I've gotten as far as um, as that goes. Um, and it's written, I think, by either the daughter or daughter-in-law of um, T. Colin Campbell, who's the guy who did the China study and who runs the nutrition, a center for nutrition studies at Cornell, where I'm getting my certification. Right. Um, like him too. Yeah, he's great. Um, this one, Forks Over Knives Plan, phenomenal. The first half of it has got great information in it, and the, I marked several of the recipes in the back half. So look at her, look at her markings on Can that. Can you see the markings on that one? Mm. So I'm this book. I, I would I recommend. I got it from the library originally, and then I went and purchased it because I wanted to be able to write in it and mm. mark it and have it. Um, the recipes that are in it are all on the Forks Over Knives mm. website, but. What I like about a cookbook is you don't have to know what you're looking for. On a website, you kind of have to be able to search and be able to say, this is what I want to cook. On a cookbook, you can just page through it and find interesting recipes. So you guys have seen some of them that I've made from this. I've posted them on the r, &R Journey page. Um, and so this one, if you're looking for a book um, to get you started, Forks Over Knives Plan, pick it up from your local library, take a look at it, see if it's right for you. But I am really enjoying uh, this this book, and again, I do my notes from it will be on the website. And we are looking up. to have all of these things that we've read and recommend. We are going to have links on our website. There's going to be a so you don't even have to research page. them. You yeah. can just click it, and if you want to buy it, you can buy it. Yeah, there'll be a research. Yeah. Now it's interesting. It's a good actually. It's a very good practice that that Robin has developed as far as getting it from the library first, and even if you read the whole thing, if you like it, buy it. We've done that at least three That's times. That's what we do with How Not to Die. Right. Um, this one. Right. The uh -huh. high performance book I right. have. Right, so so it's a good way to do it. Find out, find out the books, the really information you want. Hey and Pat, then they're good to have for reference. Hey, good Pat. to see you. Um, so th those are the the four I have currently. I am going to bring the one back to the library today. The uh, China Study Cookbook that I'm in about. I have there's two, three more at the library. I'm picking up one of them is called Fat Chance, which has um, been referenced in a couple of different books. It talks about different fats, so I'm really excited to read that one. I can't remember what the other two are. I'll have to show them to you when I get them. I there don't you remember go. what they are. But um, those are the those are the books that we're current. I'm currently reading and taking notes in for you. Um, yeah, Bridge. We're gonna try and have affiliate links. So I'm, we're not sure how that works. But yeah, we're just we're, starting to look. We're into trying that. to figure it. If you know, send me an email. Let me know how the affiliate thing works with Amazon because right, right. we're gonna have all of our the seeds and stuff that we yes. get from Amazon all are gonna be staples, on there. Yeah. So that's our goal, to, so that you guys can just go and have it. Right. Um, and we're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Yes. So it's moving along, though. It is. So, it's coming. Yeah, each along. day I get a little bit more done. And again, this is something I'm doing physically myself. So your your phone decided it didn't like it. <laughs> oh, that was bizarre. I don't know what his phone just did, but it, it always disappoints him when it does weird things. Yeah, I mean, it just said, you know what? You're did done. you have anything else you wanted to add? Um. No, I mean, we talked about my energy level, right? And I, I don't know. I mean, it's just... You were telling... What was his name at the gym today? Rich. You were telling Rich today at the gym that he... No, so he asked me how I was doing. I said, I'm doing great. I said, how about you? He says, oh, I'm dragging today. I said, you need a whole food plant-based diet. And he looked at me <laughs> and, he, and he said, you know what? And, and so this is an individual that grew up on an island and then moved to... In the to, Caribbean. Right, moved to the U.S. And he said, when I was growing up as a kid, that's what we ate. That was our diet. And it's not until he moved to America and started eating the Western diet that he's not as as energetic and he's you know he's you know, yeah. as he said he's dragging and all that. So um, just another example of the um, the, the the life changing. Talk to them. Uh, the life. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just another example of the life changing. Um, I don't know experiences you can have. You expect to have, not could have. You yeah. should expect to have Absolutely. changing to a whole food plant based diet. Yeah. You know, it's it's just fantastic. I'm I'm like. I'm jumping around like a rabbit. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So 
um, yeah, it's, we're really happy with it. Obviously, we're out here telling you guys about it every single day. Yeah. So obviously, we're enjoying it. Um, but eat your oatmeal. If nothing else, add oatmeal to your diet. Right. And that's one thing that, that he talks about in the starch solution is you don't have to decide, okay, I'm not eating meat anymore. Just start adding in other things. I read you that one thing. I was just going to say, we were talking about <laughs> it. Let's see if I he can said, find he it. He said, don't, don't become whole food plant-based. Just do this. And go ahead. Tell him what he said to do. And he says, let me see if I can find it a second because it made me laugh. It made me laugh too. He says, simply eat more starch without intentionally giving up anything else in your current diet. This combination means adding daily one or more or a mixture of the following to your regular diet. Now listen to this. This is hysterical. Four cups of steamed rice, four cups of boiled corn, four mashed potatoes, four baked sweet potatoes, three cups cooked beans, peas, or lentils, four cups of boiled spaghetti noodles, 12 slices of whole grain bread. I couldn't eat that much food all by itself, let alone right, add right. it to my current And what's clever about that is he's basically saying, and he knows this, if you add that to your diet, you're not adding a lot of calories, but you're adding a lot of bulk, and it's going to prevent you from eating it's going to push the other stuff, that, yeah. that stuff that's not good yeah. for you off your plate. Exactly. But that, so that, that's his deal is, you know, add, add stuff to your diet that's healthy and it'll push the other stuff out. And right. I can tell you the half a cup of steel cut oats with fruit that I eat every morning keeps me satisfied well into the afternoon. And, you know, I, I pour in the food when I come home from the gym. We already ate cashews and now picking on uh, – Sun-dried persimmons. Uh, yeah, persimmons that, that her mother sent us. Our mom. Yep, my yeah. mom. Um, and, you know, now we're eating my oat, uh, I'm eat my oatmeal. So. Yep. I'm ready to go. All right. Well, you let's go, go do that. All right. Time to eat. And with that, we will say eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have we'll a great day, guys.